Chrome and we want to find its volume. So we've got a hole here. We just want to know what the actual solid piece is. So to do that, what we can do here, it's actually, so let's treat, let's just treat, even though it's hollow, let's treat like it's a hole. And then we'll do the outer portion. So the outer portion is going to be equal to pi, they want 3.14, times the radius, which is going to be 5, because <clears throat> that's big R, 5 squared times the length, which is 15, or the height, <clears throat> minus 3.14 times, in this case, it's going to be 2 squared, times 15. So we can actually factor a bunch of this out. I mean, you don't have to. It's just it's a lot easier. 3.14. And then they both share the 15. So it's just 15. Or it's 15. 5 squared minus 2 squared. And what we end up with when we multiply this together. So this ends up being 25 minus 4 is 21. We multiply this all together. We get approximately, well, it's 989.601685, blah, 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 blah. But if we we want to round it to decimal places, so it's just going to be um, nine eighty nine. Oh, I didn't use three point one four. Oh, well, it's it just because we use three point one four, it just goes to one, and that's it. Okay, I hope this helped you out. I appreciate you watching the video, and I will see you next time.